Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today we have Chantel. We haven't seen Chantel in a while, and I thought I'd have her on because they have been approved, right, for a, a, a visa to live in New Zealand. So just so you know, they've been to like a over a hundred countries and they're picking New Zealand. So it's pretty great here. Uh, and so if you're thinking about moving here and want to get some information on where to start, I thought I'd cover that in this just brief video today because I get this question probably like about five times a day. <laughs> What you do, let me just overview what you do. If you're thinking about moving to New Zealand, you need to start with the New Zealand immigration site. And you go on there and there's like a, like a little quiz that you can take to figure out how many points you have, what visa options are available to you based on where you're coming from and what your skill set is and what kind of skills they're looking to immigrate to New Zealand. And so that's where you start. And if you have any questions about that, I'm happy to help. Just reach out to me, uh, email me or whatever. Um, and that's what I do. I help people figure out all those details. But it's best if you go on the site and figure that out, what visas you qualify for before you contact me because that's where you need to start. Because it's always changing and I'm not able to give necessarily immigration advice, but I can kind of steer you in the right direction. And so I get so many questions about visas and everybody's situation is so different. So a lot of people just book a time to talk about it with me. Uh, but I thought I'd have Chantel on here today because I'm having so many more clients that are doing the entrepreneurial visa or doing the investor visa or all different types and I just think it's helpful to have and hear other people's experiences getting a visa so thanks for joining us yeah, today nice to be here yeah so good so Chantel you came when you it was like COVID why don't you tell the story yeah so we came on a holiday as you do when you come to New Zealand and we were locked down because of the pandemic so we were happily stuck here I say um, and we thought it was gonna be three months and two years later we were in, still in New Zealand so after being here this long you kind of get immersed into the culture and you discover the country I mean we fully discovered it from Cape Rianga, which is in the very north, all the way down to Stewart Island, which is the third island that a lot of people don't really know about if you're overseas. Yes. Um, there's not just yes. a north and a south. That's so, true. So we we visited the country. We fell in love with the people, the landscape, the culture, and just its beauty and kind of what New Zealand is all about. And so it was like an easy process. We were like, I think we want to call New Zealand home one day. Yeah, like they got stuck yeah. here, they loved it, we and did. now they want to apply. Yeah. So and yeah. Like she said, like we've been to many countries, so we know, like we've seen a lot of government systems and we've seen a lot of different things, and we really could appreciate everything that New Zealand has to offer. So we thought, okay, what are our options? And so, where are you originally from? So I'm originally you're... from Canada. Okay. Our, our governments are very similar. They operate similar. Uh, yeah. Our healthcare system is similar. Uh, and we're dual citizenships with uh, Switzerland, mm -hmm. actually. So very different. Switzerland is very, very different. So oh, anyhow, okay. long story short, uh, we were trying to see what our options were. And so when you're first coming to New Zealand, obviously, if you're in a trades or a job that's like in need, that's an easy visa to get because they yeah. need skilled workers here. Or if so. you're younger and you want to just do that working holiday visa is a great, I think it's 35 and under for, for that one. Yeah, and that one's kind of neat too, where you can work and kind of see the country, but they do want you to stay in one spot. I spoke to a lot of the like different farming people and they don't want people just to come work for a week and then go and travel. They right. want people there to really help them in their business. So, so normally like in the winter, the people, those people on that visa will stop and, and work for a couple months in one location. Yeah. Uh, but it's a really great in for you to come into the country and meet the people and get some contacts because getting a job here is all about who you know. And so if you can come in here and like make some contacts and then maybe they can sponsor you for a longer visit, it's just much easier to extend your visa to get more visa options once you're in the country mm -hmm. so for us it was a little different because um, we're on we're, we're entrepreneurs at heart so we mm. we own a business uh, we run businesses so that's what I've been doing for my whole entire life essentially and I grew up in a family business so it was natural to not want to have a job and plus we're digital nomads so we want to travel and having a job doesn't kind of equate to being able to have that lifestyle so right we decided to do what's called the entrepreneur entrepreneurial work visa. So essentially, um, you just kind of go through the process. We did it without any help, so we did it ourselves. 
but we had the confidence in doing that because in the past we did that to live in the US for a while and so we mm. paid expensive lawyer fees we've done that whole process once and we realized and this isn't the case for everybody okay but I'm just saying from our perspective we realized right. that all they did was literally give us a yes. checklist this is what you need to do and we gave it to them and they prepared it nicely like they did a good job preparing it nicely but right. we can prepare things nicely too no and that's and that's a really good point because my clients are always asking me can you recommend an immigration advisor and, and I go my first line of of recommendation is that you don't need one. <laughs> wow. Everything so, on the website is all that you need. Like you actually don't. Now, of course, like you said, there's circumstances and situations and some people's personality is they just prefer that. They just have that extra, yeah. you know, cause it's not an easy country to get in. In fact, as an American, it's probably one of the hardest. Wow. So. Yeah. And you do have to make sure that you check off every single box. Now in saying right. that, um, like you just said, everything's very clear, very concise. And once you have started the application, you have an assigned officer who is working with you and the biggest difference in misconception would be like you would feel originally as when you're applying oh they're gonna be working against you but it's the opposite they're working yes. with you yes. to make sure you have checked off all those things and you have given them the details they need so that they can make their decision and so they work back and forth they call you on the phone you have access to the phone number you're speaking to them you're emailing them and they'll just you know, it was a long process because they, they go back and they go forth, you know. Yeah, and so that's what I really want to make clear. So like I work with so many people that are applying for it. Now, in order to apply for it, it's like application, you have to submit a business plan, right? Yeah. Are there other things that yeah. I'm not, okay. Yeah. And is that yeah, it? Yeah. No, like, yeah, you have, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. There's, there's a, a checklist of things to do. But, but I get so many Americans like afraid to just submit that. Like, have I thought of everything? Have I put everything in the business plan that they're looking for? do the best that you can and submit it. Because like she said, they just work with you. If you forgot something, they'll say, hey, can we get more details on this? Yeah, can right? you go more in depth can you go more? Right, and so it's like, you're trying to understand what they're looking for and there's just no way that you can. Yeah. So you do the best that you can and then don't worry about it because they'll just work with you at that point. Yep, and then also, um, yeah, so it's this specific visa, it's a one-year visa and then you have to make okay, sure well, you're not overestimating what you're you're gonna do, and then you have to meet certain requirements and prove that you have taken the steps to um, do what you said you set off to do. And then after that, you get extended for two years. And then after those two years, they really analyze and check mm. that you've done all those little things to be able to extend it and eventually have residence. So then, do you get a resident visa after that? You would. You would. So after the two years. Three. Three years of so meeting one, the requirements. And then and then okay. check out too. And okay. so um, wow. there's different options too. I mean, some people can do it differently. So there, that's uh, not just the only, but this is okay. what we are doing and what we have done. So yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I I like I kind of recorded myself throughout the whole journey of it and eventually I'll come out with a video that kind of explains more in detail yes. of like all those things because like when you're doing it it's very lengthy. It took us a whole year from start your... to finish. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. Is that including working with the guy? And yeah. getting all yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. whole thing. The whole thing. Okay. And then it was Before it was like completely submitted mm -hmm. and then you get that one year. That means you get that one year yeah. at that one point. Okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah, so. sorry, I didn't say this in the beginning. This is Chantel with oh. Growing Up Without Borders. <laughs> so you can check out her uh, channel. I'll put it in the description. And um, yeah, so when she has that that video when she's yeah, probably done with the I process. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting for people just to see what it was all through. Cause I filmed even like submitting the documents, like all those little things. Like, yeah, you're like yeah. wow, oh, that's fingerprints, cool. that. like doing all the health checks, like all those things. Do you think it helped you that you lived here when you were going through it? A hundred percent. Oh, okay. I really Cause do. most people aren't gonna have that really an option. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like you do, I feel just the proximity, just in general, when you're in your mindset, yeah, yeah. it's proximity, you know, cause you're here. Right. Um, but it's yeah. not necessary. Like no, they could just, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can just zoom or yeah. whatever. Yeah. This is what we do these days, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. They really work with you. So I really, okay. I was really impressed. And like, you don't, it's approachable. Like, I don't know when you're working with, I, I'm not going to pick on the US, but when you're working with US immigration, it's scary. And they're like, I mean, I did this a long time ago, but like, they didn't get what we did. They didn't question. It was just kind of like over the, and they're just, you feel like you're just going to get a stamp. Yes or no approval. And it was like, here's like, let's work right. together. Right. And, and so, so that's what I feel like Americans feel when they're applying. They I feel like it's going to be that. Yeah. And it's not. Mm -hmm. And so it's just an introduction to the culture yes. is what it is. Yeah. And so that's yeah. cool. So, so you were immigrating from Switzerland to the U S at some point or was it uh, Canada? Canada, from Canada. Canada. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. you went through that whole process yeah. and then what kind of visa or green card or whatever. Back then I had an L one visa. 
oh, so we, we yeah okay. so we brought our company because we were living in florida as okay. digital nomads and um we had our girls in school and such and the u.s started hassling us like as a canadian it was really funny so i got stuck for three hours at the border and questioned like what are you guys doing here are you working really? yeah and so then i was like oh gosh this is getting you know scary like what if i get not able to come in and Tyler was with the three girls they were really right. young at the time okay. and I was trying to get in and they wouldn't they said this is your last time coming in so I was like okay let's do a proper visas so that we can stay and it was great because then we were allowed to have our girls in school for the full 10 months and then just you know go back so before so, that the digital nomad was supposed to be okay but people weren't familiar it with was it very enough. gray like it was are gray. you working okay. are you not are you right. allowed to be working and then you you know how many days because then your taxation changed so it was like all of that right mm, okay so then we just made it okay like I'm gonna be an employee of my company and we're gonna yep. register there and then but then it was like never certain because it was like mm. are they gonna approve or disapprove and you you get this like uh feeling and how long did that practice take do you remember oh, it was like it wasn't I feel like it wasn't that long yeah, it wasn't as long but then when they go to renew it that's that whole pressure like are they gonna accept it and do they right. understand they're gonna find what some and... little reason to not exactly it's like not we all feeling. know if it's you're very feeling. you know what we're saying yeah, and it's just like you just feel so. like you don't you're never really part of you know so I just like and, and to be honest not to be mean but we never really that was never our intention to be there long term anyway like yeah, to, right, yeah right so it's okay it's not, okay not like New Zealand so yeah okay That's there we cool. go so, so that, does how... your visa in the U.S. Sorry, I'm just curious. Uh -huh. Still last? Like no, 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 no. Okay, no, no we're Got back it. to normal. No, no, it's like once it's expired, that's it. I see. And so the, it was a renewal that yeah. you were talking about. Okay, cool. Well, I so hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions about this, please post below, below and like just share your experience or you know kind of what you're going through. Feel free to book an appointment with me. I'll put the link in the description as well, and I'll see you next week. Bye.